Hey everybody. So today's an inside day and it's a day that I decided I was going to start cleaning up the kitchen a little bit. And I was looking at my salt and I was thinking, hmm, I've got all these different kinds of salt. I wonder what the difference is in them. Well, this one right here is the only one that is iodized and it's Morton. So I was looking at the, basically just the sodium content. And I was looking at the first number right after sodium but did you know I knew that Morton salt was just way saltier than anything else now this one has calcium silicate in it so that's an anti caking agent it has dextrose and it has potassium iodide nothing else that I have has any of those um, those ingredients and I don't like them adding ingredients Especially things that you don't even know what it is. So, um, anyway, that one has 590 milligrams or 26% of your daily value for a quarter teaspoon. As you look, one-fourth of a teaspoon. Now, if you look at this canning and pickling salt, it is exactly the same. It doesn't do anything different. It's 26%. It's 590 milligrams. Well, so then you go over here to Morton's coarse sea salt. Now, this one doesn't have iodine in it, so it's and this is from Spain. So I just wonder, okay, so what is the difference in this one and that one? Well, this one for a quarter teaspoon has 570, so that's 20 less milligrams, and it's only 24%, so that's 2% less. Okay, and then I have this Badia is the brand, pink Himalayan salt. And I'm telling you that's, that's for a reason because I have another type of Himalayan, pink Himalayan salt that is um, in a grinder. It's coarse, which should make absolutely zero difference. Now, I think I did put some um, coarse salt in with this salt, and so that's why it doesn't all, all look pink because I do that sometimes whenever I... Um, make it uh, potatoes on the grill so if you look at this one looks like I need to clean it off a little bit the sodium is 570 milligrams so that is the same as and it doesn't have any other ingredients but that's the same as the Himal uh, the Morton sea salt that was the the course that I just showed you well then we have now we're going down into one of my very favorite sea salts this is um, um, Celtic sea salt. No, this is Redmond sea salt. Oh gosh, this is my favorite. This is my absolute favorite. Um, it's unrefined. It's mined in America, so it is actually from Utah. And um, you can go on their their website and look at it. There's it, it's got a lot of minerals in it too. Um, but if you look, this one only has 530 milligrams of sodium and 22 percent of your daily value and it's nothing but ancient sea salt they dig it out of the um um what is it that big lake uh salt lake in utah and then the next one over now this is old thompson and it's mediterranean sea salt and it's white so it's what i added in with the pink salt um, whenever i was grilling so this one, you turn it around, and let's see, it has 500 milligrams or 21%. So we're going down in, in sodium content. And I know I like this, this pretty good. It's, it's, uh, it's not one of my favorites, but it's, it's one of my top 10. So now we're getting to my next favorite salt, which is Celtic sea salt. This, oh, this is delicious. This one is a vital, vital mineral blend. So it has, but it doesn't have iodine in it. And it's light gray salt, Celtic. So if you look on the back, this one, let's see, has 480 milligrams or only 20%. So, and it, the only ingredients is sea salt. That's it. Nothing else. And I really like that. I like no more ingredients. I, I think I can probably live with, with doing some, some of my own um, supplements on the, on the iodine. 
Okay, and then we get to the same brand of Old Thompson. This is not the Mediterranean sea salt. This is the pink salt. And I thought, okay, it's the same, the same brand as the as the Mediterranean sea salt that's white. I wonder what the difference is. And it's also um, pink Himalayan salt like that Badia that I showed you just a minute ago. Well, this one right here has the least amount of salt sodium in it. It has 416 milligrams or only 17%. And it is great. I mean, you put that on a baked potato and you just about die. Oh, it's so good. That one and this one and this one. This one right here, this, this Redmond one from um, Utah. This one, you can absolutely taste. Whoops, I'm sorry. I got my fingers in the way. You can taste the minerals in this one. It, it, it's the salt um, flavor doesn't taste so salty, so you can use a little bit more salt, and you can taste the flavor of it. If you put it in something like, say, you cook um, an egg, uh, a boiled egg, and you like to put salt and pepper on your boiled egg and eat it like that, oh, the flavor. You can taste so, it's, you can just taste the difference in this and, or white salt. It's just amazing. Anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick rundown on salt. I'm not one that likes a lot of salt. I don't like a lot of sugar. Um, I don't eat a lot of either one of them. I don't like bread. <laughs> you know, I just like potatoes and gravy and stuff like that. That's still not healthy. Well, it's healthy, but it's healthy. It's just a little bit more fattening than some things. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day, and uh, maybe I'll come up with something else later that I can show you. Have a great one. Bye-bye.